Ladies and gents, I'm here at Micro Center for the first time ever to shop for parts because I'm building a pretty cool PC inside of a desk. Now, I could have gone with an unlimited budget, but what's the fun in that? There is literally no challenge. So I'm gonna set the budget to $3,000, including taxes, because after all, this is the real world and nothing is certain in life except death and taxes. So in reality, our budget is actually more towards $2,500, which I still think is enough to build a really cool high-end system. So let's see what we can do. Meet the new RMX Shift power supplies from Corsair, an innovative patent-pending design that shifts all the modular connections to the side, letting you comfortably manage all of your cables. All RMX Shift power supplies include a PCI 5.0 12VH power cable for use with the NVIDIA RTX 40 series cards. It's 80 plus gold certified and they are fully modular, allowing you to only connect the cables your system needs while taking up less space. To learn more, click the link below. I still can't believe I've never been in a micro center, you guys. This is the first time ever in my life. It's actually been on my bucket list for such a long time. So I'm super, super excited to check it out in person. Oh my God, guys, this place is like Toys R Us, but for adults. It, the pictures and the videos don't do this place justice. You have to actually be here in person to experience it. Oh wow, check this out guys. You can actually build your own PC here. You basically talk to one of these experts here, gather the parts you want that fits your budget, and they basically build it for you right here in the store. And you can pick it up either the same day or the following day. This is so much better than buying a pre-built PC from a different website because you're not restricted on what parts you can go with. You literally have an entire store to pick your parts to build your dream PC. Looking at you, NZXT. I'm looking at you. All right, let's shop for our PC parts, shall we? Oh, baby, baby, baby. Here are the CPUs. All right, definitely want to go with at least a 13700K. I think this will be perfect for the build. Influence, right? Yeah, <laughs> appreciate it. Oh yeah, let's go, baby. Thank you. You literally have no reason to buy a PC from another website. I mean, unless you live on an island or outside the States, or if you're locked up in your mom's basement. Okay, I guess there are reasons you can't visit a micro center. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, for sure, dude. I've been watching your video for like uh, so long. Oh yeah? What's your name? Haroon, man. The potato dish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I actually uh, sent one in, but you rejected mine. Oh, dude. Yeah, it's, all good. Yeah, it's all good though, because it wasn't that bad. Send I mean, it again, but maybe for a regular setup boys. But okay. it's not good enough yet, so. Oh, it's not good enough? So, when, when is it going to be good enough? I think maybe six months. Oh, six months? And then I'll, I'll apply into it. Awesome, dude. Yeah, let me know, man. I want to get that seal approval. You know? <laughs> I love how Micro Center literally labels every single on their aisle, so you know where to find all the parts. I'm going to choose our graphics card next. We're definitely going GeForce, so let's take the NVIDIA aisle. What's up? <laughs> What's going on, man? <laughs> oh yeah, nice, dude. Thank you. This is definitely my favorite aisle. Definitely. Oh yeah, the bad boy. Aura's Master RTX 4080. Let's go. This will do the job just fine. Everything here is pretty much at MSRP. This is what I love so much about Micro Center, guys. They don't take advantage of their customers. Right? Every single GPU launch I've seen, they do their best to make sure stock is available and they don't overprice their cards. They can easily scalp prices and make a profit, but they don't. They always put their customers first. Speaking of discounts, you guys are gonna love this. Micro Center is giving my subscribers a discount. You customers get $25 off of purchases of over $100. I mean, it's not a crazy discount by any means but that money can be put towards more fans for a better airflow in your case or perhaps a nice gaming mouse for your setup a discount is still a discount all right this is our memory selection so we do have a ddr5 motherboard do you want to stick with corsair since we're going with a corsair aio and corsair fan so let's go you know i think we can afford a 6000 megahertz so let's go to 32 gigabyte vengeance rgb 
memory. This is perfect. So apparently Micro Center has 25 stores nationwide and they're opening up another one in Indianapolis by summer and two more in 2025. I mean, these guys are expanding faster than COVID. Eventually, we're all gonna have a micro center within pissing distance. Imagine rolling out of bed and ending up at a micro center within minutes. Like, think about all the money you're gonna be saving and the access to all the inventory to build yourself a PC or even upgrade your setup. That is literally every gamer's wet dream. All right, we are in the coolers aisle, boys and girls. Let's see what we can do. We can definitely fit up to 360 millimeter AIO. Uh, we can go with the white one. It's gonna be mostly a black theme. I'm looking at the H170i Elite LCD, so let's pick up one of these bad boys. Oh, they put it so high. You gotta be. All right, here's what we have so far. We got the CPU. We got our memory, got our cooler, and our graphics card. So I think we're about halfway done. Oh, they got Apple stuff too. This is what's so amazing about Micro Center. They don't just have stockpiles of PC components. They have a massive selection of laptops, monitors, TVs, network equipment. I mean, they practically have it all. Over 30,000 items in stock too. What's cool is that they even have deals on 16-inch MacBook Pros, up to $200 off MSRP, guys. Check this out. Apple never gives a discount on their products. They're like the Mr. Krabs like of tech. I feel like the only place you can find a discount on Apple products is at Micro Center. That's all right, good. Can I get a picture, man? Yeah, for sure, dude. I was actually shooting a video. You want to be in the video? Yeah, what's up, man? What's your name? Alejandro. Alejandro, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, nice to meet you. I watched the set of boards. Oh, set of boards? Nice, yeah, dude. Always. Yeah, let's take a pic. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Nice to meet you, dude. Man. Take care. It always makes me happy seeing you guys in public. It puts a big smile on my face. It actually makes my day, believe it or not. So. I don't want you guys to think even for a second that I'm bothered when you approach me in public. So if you want to come by, you know, say hi, shake my hand, or even take a picture, I don't mind. If anything, I encourage you guys, okay? Uh, I don't want you guys to think that I'm intimidating. At the end of the day, I'm just a regular person like all of you. And I say this because I actually see people from a distance taking a picture and video too afraid to come up. Like guys, I'm just a regular person. So please, please, please come up. All right, we have a 13 gen processor, so we do need a Z790 board. There's a DDR4 version and a DDR5. Obviously we're using DDR5 memory, so let's grab DDR5 board, perfect. I'm legit like a kid in a candy store, guys. I don't think I ever want to leave this place. I can live here, I can live here. Man, I just love the amount of inventory these guys have here. You don't have to worry about anything running out of stock. They always have like almost a full inventory. I would definitely love working with Micro Center again. Hopefully a future collab, who knows? Oh, check this out guys, I found the water cooling aisle. Got some AIO kits, got some coolant, fittings, and we got the blocks over here on the left side. Maybe I'll come back and do a custom water cool build. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comment section. Okay, time for some storage. I think a two terabyte M.2 should be plenty. The Samsung 980 Pro is actually looking really good and it's on sale, $169.99. I like this price. I like this price a lot. All right, this is it. I'm gonna get it out of there. Let's do a quick trick. There we go. All right, we do need a power supply. You can already tell which one's Corsair <laughs> compared to the rest. It's just all yellow. Uh, let's go with at least a 1000 watt power supply. I think that's gonna be enough to juice all the components, but I also want to have enough room to upgrade components later down the line. So obviously I'm building this PC for a subscriber, so I want that person to be able to upgrade their components later down the line if they choose to. So 1,000 watts is good enough. All right, last but not least, we do need some fans. Once again, let's stick with Corsair so that we are on the same ecosystem. I think the QL120s are good. I do like the new Elite fans. 
to be honest, but the design of the QL120s looks so much better to me. So let's go with a six pack. And that completes our shopping, boys and girls. That literally only took like 10 minutes, you guys. Everything is so close by together and they're nicely organized. It's almost impossible to get lost here. What's up, oh, what's going on, man? What's your name? Darius. Darius? Darius. Darius. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too. Did you want a picture? Sure. Yeah, let's do it, man. I'm actually doing a video. You want to be in the video? Uh, sure. What's going on? So, Jeremy, say what's up to the subscribers. What's up? <laughs> Awesome. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you too, Take care. Man. I love hearing all the stories that you guys share with me, like how the channel has helped you build your very first PC or how Setup Wars has inspired you to build or even upgrade your setup. So whatever story you guys have to share with me, no matter what it is I'm doing, I'll always have time to stop and chat. Sweet. Got my own private area, huh? <laughs> if you don't want to be in the video, let me know. I'll just try and like, I'll crop you up. It doesn't matter. I've, okay, cool. I've been in them. Oh, you've been I, in them? I've okay. You. <laughs> so you're a star. You're a regular star, Jeremy. <laughs> All right, guys, we're checking out. Let's hope we're within our budget. I wasn't doing any calculations, so let's hope with tax, we are underneath the $3,000 budget. If not, we're gonna have to swap some things and I do not want to do that. I want to go home and build this piece of you right now. Everyone is so nice here. The customers, the workers. I'm gonna come down here and buy a house nearby so I can be within walking distance of Micro Center. I don't wanna leave. I don't wanna leave. I was so happy in there. Oh man, the dopamine rush you get when you're walking to a Micro Center is, is uncomparable to anything else. But you know what, we're over our budget. 300 bucks, but it's fine. This is going to a subscriber at the end of the day, so, you know, I'm okay with that. All right, we got all the shopping done. Time to load it in the car and go home and build this baby. The next day. All right, guys, so check this out. This is what we're building today, okay? It's the GTG Evo Spectrum from Eureka. It's basically an all-in-one high-end PC desk. It's got everything you guys need for a fully functioning setup. You can build a PC right inside of it. It's got RGB, it's a sit and stand desk, and it comes with so many cool features. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to put this together. Let's get started. There we go, baby. Didn't fall this time. It actually comes in two boxes. So this is going to be the tabletop, and then I think the legs and the rest of the accessories are in the second box, so. And box number one. And this. Uh, oh, damn it. This is really heavy. Is box number two. So all the accessories are in this box. Oh, and here's the case. So this is where the PC gets built inside. And I think once you're done, you basically just insert it inside the desk. I'm not exactly sure how this goes, but we're gonna figure it out together. Oh, these are thick boy legs. All right, so we got exactly 18 pages of instructions. So let's see how long it's gonna take for me to assemble this entire desk. Start the timer. We gotta build a PC first. Bruh. So I found this really cool speed hack on TikTok. Apparently if you throw the CPU box inside the case with the processor in it, and as long as it's touching the motherboard tray, the PC will be completely built. Let's try it out. All right, got my box. Processor is inside of it. Let's go. Okay, so yeah, overall a very straightforward case to build in. There are just a few things I didn't quite like about it. The first one had to do with the instructions. So step two is actually um, telling you to install a power supply in the back of the bracket, which sits right underneath the AIO. But if you install the power supply, you can't get access to the mounting holes in the back to screw in the radiator. So that's just kind of contradicting. I'm not sure why they tell you to put the power supply in, when in fact it should be the AIO or the radiator if you're doing a custom water cool build. So it was kind of annoying. I had to remove the power supply and then hook up the AIO and then install the power supply back on. But other than that, I wish there were more cutouts inside the case. As you guys can see here, 
both the uh, eight pin EPS connectors, I kind of had to run across the motherboard and into the only cutout near the middle. So cable management isn't the best, but you know, not much you can do here, unfortunately. All right, boys and girls, moment of truth. There we go. That looks pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. This looks so freaking cool at night, you guys. Damn. You can even turn on the privacy screen. There's a switch here, you flip it on, and there it is. You can't even see the components. You just see kind of like the glow from inside the desk. That's pretty cool. That is freaking dope. So unfortunately, during the day, you can't see much of the lighting from the desk. You have to be really up close to even notice the, uh, the RGB design on here on both sides. The only lighting that's somewhat noticeable is actually the PC in the middle because of the RGB fans and the RGB products. But from a distance, you can't even see any of the other RGB accents from the desk, which sucks. I feel like this desk really shines at night and there's no brightness control either. So you're pretty much stuck with what you have here. All right, let's check the height adjustability. See how high this thing can go up. The motor's actually not that loud. It's fairly quiet for a sit and stand desk. I've definitely heard louder before. Pretty decent speed as well. Oh wow, this goes up pretty high. 48.1 inches, that is not bad. You also got two buttons over here so you can program specific heights. So ideally you want one for the sitting position and then one for the standing position. And then you got your power button over here for the PC and then your reset along with a USB hub on the right here. So you got two USB 3s that connect directly into the back of your system. And then you got your headphone and microphone jack on the right. On the left is where you have controls to basically change the lights of the desk. Bruh. Yank, I'm working. Babe, I have a question. It's struggling to lift us, but it's lifting us. That's a sturdy desk. Isn't it, Shayla? You like the desk? And then on the left side over here, we have a few more controls that are strictly for the desk only. So we got the privacy switch that I showed you guys earlier. Uh, this button over here cycles through the different color effects on the desk only. This does not connect to the PC. So uh, if you guys are going for a specific color scheme, you can actually set these to a static color or you can pick from a few different really cool um, animation effects. But if you don't want any of the RGB, you basically press and hold this power button and all the lights turn off. The desk also comes with some pretty cool extra accessories like this cup holder on the left side. It's a pretty decent size where you can actually fit in a full size mug and there are grooves on both sides where it won't interfere with your handle. It won't fit all mug sizes unfortunately, so if you got those super bulky and wide ones, it's not gonna work, but for the standard mug sizes, you should be good. But the cool thing about this is that it's actually on a swivel, so when you're done using it, you can just kind of tuck it underneath the desk. And on the right side is a dual headphone hanger, which is also on a swivel, so it's great if you're constantly swapping between two headphones. This will definitely keep your desk space neat and tidy. In terms of monitor support, the desk can comfortably fit up to two monitors side by side. You can even stack them on the top. If you're doing a triple monitor setup, the outer two monitors will hang off the desk a little bit. The cool thing about the desk is that it comes with a monitor mount bracket in the back, so you can hook up your own monitor mount to it. So there was a bit of a design flaw with the desk, um, and that has to do with the peripheral location. So you guys can kind of see, we don't have that much of a lip to work with. This is all the space we have, 
before we start covering the components inside of our PC. And a full-size keyboard is pretty much the perfect length before you start covering the components. But here's the thing, you can't exactly use it without a mouse pad. You can't use a mouse on top of glass, it just, it doesn't work. So you're forced to use a mouse pad. So if we decide to put a mouse pad on here, I'm gonna go with the black Nexus for my season eight design, which you guys can grab from dealsource.tech slash store. But if we go ahead and extend the mouse pad, which most of us do, look how much space it's covering from the desk. It's pretty much covering half the PC. So I feel like your only option, if you wanna admire your PC while you're using your setup, is to go with a regular size mouse pad. That way you're not covering your system's components. So that is one drawback with this desk, unfortunately. Okay, so I took a few days off to kind of play around with the setup to get a better feeling for it. And overall, I would say it's a vibe. There's just something about having the PC tucked away inside of the desk that hits different. I'm able to maintain such a clean workspace and not worry about the PC taking up any room from the surface or worry about it attracting dust while on the carpet. Temps were very good while gaming. The GPU maxed out at 56 degrees Celsius and the CPU peaked at 67 degrees Celsius. So overall, very cool temps. We do have two intake fans in the front pushing cold air into the case. And then we have four fans exhausting the hot air out. We got one in the back and then the three from the AIO. Now, as convenient as the desk is, it certainly has its downsides, and I wanna go over them real quick. So first off, the PC is like a mid-tower. It supports a full ATX board and a 360 millimeter radiator. So you don't really have any restrictions on what type of PC you wanna build. In fact, you can even do a full custom loop in here because there is space to add two separate pump and res combos. However, be warned that you're only limited to a single 360 millimeter radiator, and that can affect temps if you're going going with a water block for both the CPU and the GPU. Now, because of the size of the case, it hangs low from the bottom quite a bit, and it's pretty close to the edge. So if you're tall like me, it will be a little uncomfortable to sit in front of it. In fact, I've already accidentally hit my legs against it two times, and it was pretty painful. I always find myself raising the desk a few extra inches higher than I normally do, just to make sure I have enough leg room where I'm not constantly bumping into the case. I actually enjoyed using the desk more in the standing position. Now, if you're a petite person, I don't see this being a problem since theoretically your legs should easily slide underneath the case. Another thing I don't like about the desk is the glossy surface. It is way too reflective and it's a fingerprint magnet as well. Any small dust that gets on it is easily noticeable. So maintenance on it can get quite tedious at times. There is one more accessory that comes with the desk, which is a a dual controller holder that also doubles as an additional headphone hanger in the back. It's a bit flimsy, but I do like the built-in USB hub on the bottom. You can actually connect it to the back of your PC and use any of the four USB ports to charge your devices, so pretty cool. One major issue I came across while using a desk is that you're not able to use both of the USB ports in the front of the desk at the same time. So I have my wireless keyboard's receiver plugged into the first port but when I tried inserting an SD card in the second slot to transfer my camera footage, an error message popped up on Windows stating that the USB device needs more power. And all of a sudden, my keyboard stopped working. This only happens when I'm using both USB ports at the same time. And at first I thought, okay, maybe I'm just unlucky and I got a bad unit. But turns out the only other review on their own website claims to have the same exact issue. So clearly this is a design error by Eureka. And this leads me to the price, ladies and gents. I hope you're sitting down for this. This desk costs $2,000. I know, I know, it's pretty tough to swallow. Look, don't get me wrong, okay? The desk is built like a tank. It's very sturdy, high quality materials were used. I'm very impressed with the build quality, but 
it's not worth $2,000. You can literally pay $100 more and get the Lian Li DK05 PC desk instead. I've built in that desk. You get way more for the money with that than you do with the GTG Evo. More like GTFO. At least with the DK05, you get a bigger desk, support for dual systems, more leg room, and you get more USB ports in the front, which actually work, by the way. Not to mention, you have access to fan controls and your RGB settings all from the front, while still being able to use the privacy screen. For $2,000, you can build a very nice high-end system. Why would anyone buy this PC desk over building a nice PC? I mean, unless you got money to burn, then that doesn't really apply to you, but I wouldn't pay a dime over $1,000. I feel like $1,000 is a fair price for this desk. Regardless, I'm giving this desk and PC away to one lucky subscriber. Make sure you guys stay tuned to find out who it is. I'll drop a link to everything I use in today's video down below. Thank you to Micro Center for sponsoring today's video, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.